uh, idea which I want to put to your excellency. You see the problem with Africa since independence. Well, Africa has had many problems in the last 600 years. We had slavery, then we had colonialism, then after independence we have been having a neo-colonialism and we have been struggling with those. Uh, but, but one facet of neo-colonialism and colonialism was Africa being confined to producing only raw materials, crops like, like, like coffee, for minerals. An example, the global business for coffee is $460 billion. That is the value of the coffee business in the world. But of this $460 billion, the, the coffee producing countries of the whole world share only 25 billion. And Africa shares only 2.4 billion of the 460 billion. You see, this is the biggest stunting factor. Why the African economies are stunted, they don't grow. Because all the value is taken by other people. The Germany earns more from coffee than the whole of Africa. <clears throat> Germany earns $6.85 billion from coffee, while Africa earns only $2.4 or $2.5 billion. This, this is the, 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 the big scandal. So what I want to propose to R Russia and China is to discourage by policy of raw materials from Africa to instead work with the Africans to add value at, at source. This would, within a very short time, transform the economies of, of Africa from low income or, or low middle income to, to, to high middle income or even first world. Because, like in the case of Uganda, I think it's in place now, production is high, but we are still producing raw materials. And what we want is, first of all, procurement. Somebody to buy process and products by, as policy. Because like in the European Union, if you import unprocessed coffee, it enters the European Union zero tax, without tax. But at some point, if you add value to coffee, they were putting a tax, 17%, to block uh, the entry into Europe of processed, uh, of processed coffee. There were zero raw material tax for value added. Now, if China and, uh, and Russia were to, uh, as policy, in a very short time, some of these countries, the economy would grow. Bad economics on, on the side of, of course, the Western countries. For instance, if we were to export processed products to USA or to, or, to, or to Europe, and we earn more money, our purchasing power would go up, we would have more money, and we would buy more European products. It would be better for everybody. If you can look at it, it would definitely, definitely be a game changer. Now, on the, on the